Hello children, it's science time. Are you ready? Today, we were going to learn about materials that float and sink. The weight of an object affects its ability to float and sink in water. Any material when placed in water is affected by the upward force of the liquid acting on the object. In this lesson, you will discover other materials that float or sink in water. Let us look at these examples. Look at these two balls. Which do you think will float and which will sink when put in water? Well done, kids! The basketball will float in water and the bowling ball will sink. Let us find out what is the difference between float and sink. When we say float, it means to stay on top, while sink means to fall to the bottom of water. Let's learn more. The ability of materials to sink or float in water depends on their density. Density is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. Let's look at the example. These two objects are equal in volume but different in mass due to their density. If the density of an object is higher than the density of water, that object will sink in water. But if the density of the object is less than the density of water, that object will float in water. Different materials have different densities. Hey kids, it's experiment time! Are you excited to do the activities in this lesson? Let's start with activity number one. The title is Floating Sinking. In this activity, here are the materials that you need. Rubber ball, metal spoon, one liter empty bottle, styrofoam, pencil, stones, pail or basin. These are the steps in doing the activity. Number one, gather all the needed materials for the activity. Number two, Measure one liter of water and put water into the pail or basin. Number three, put the materials one by one into the pail or basin of water. Number four, observe what happens. Number five, write your answer by identifying the characteristics of each materials using the table. Directions, check if the materials float in water or cross if it sink. Did you identify the characteristics of the materials in the activity? Now, let's answer the guide questions. Question number one, which of the materials floated in water? Number two, which of the materials sunk in water? Number three, does the weight of an object affect its ability to float? Number four, what makes some of the materials float in water? You did well on this activity. Great! Keep up the good work, children! Activity number two. Name it. Study the pictures below. Be able to identify each name and write it on the given table. Check the proper column which classify materials based on their ability to float and sink. For better understanding of the activities, read and understand the following information. Activity number three, float or sink. Look around your home. Find at least five materials that floats and another five that sinks. Write your answer using the table. For your reflection, 
in one or two sentences, answer the following questions briefly. And that ends our lesson. Remember, children, good things come to those who believe. Better things come to those who are patient. And the best things come to those who don't give up. See you again next time. Goodbye. Get, 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 get